sort of the best way to describe it, which, which I actually learned from a client. He drew, he drew what was like a megaphone. And the way he described it is that advertising works out here at the open end of the megaphone. You're talking to a lot of people. Now you can focus the megaphone towards the audience that you want, but you're still talking intentionally to a lot of people. Packaging is right at the very point of the megaphone. And you're really actually only talking to one person. The, the reputation that Portland has is this kind of small creative force. Um, I've thought about that before, like, you know, what is the, what's the reason for that? You know, one of the, one of the conclusions I came up with was, uh, it's the gray. It's so gray here that we have to make our own color, that we have to make our own uh, interest, you know. It's, it's amazing what's happening here. Yeah, do I identify as a designer or graphic designer? Uh, I, I will say both. I increase, more increasingly find myself saying designer. We've never been really great at elevating our status above sort of service industry. We've never made it uh, much more meaningful in the business world. I do so much more than just graphic design that it's, 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 it's a pretty limiting term. If you take it face value, I mean, if, if my audience is graphic designers, I, I'll easily use that term because they understand its scope, right? You know, clients want to know that you are listening. They want to know that you got what they're, you know, what they're saying. Quite often, the reason that they come back with if they've hired you is that you get them. You know, that only happens if you're listening.